Hey guys, this is Brenda from Braceways. I get to show you my Valentine dining room tonight. Up here at the top, you have a very large bouquet of flowers that I put together and I used all of the beautiful glass ornaments that Frank had given uh, Rob and I last year. And so I hung them off the little branches. And what I did is that I added those really pretty pink blooms up there. And I cascaded four Valentine necklaces that I had also bought last year. And what I did is I took off the ends, you know, those little plastic nubs that come on the ends of these um, strings of beads, you know, to put around your neck. And I simply added a hook so that I could hook them up to the branches. And I just let them fall as they may down. And it just added a really pretty whimsical and romantic look to that a little bit of elegance and down here is another um, little flower arrangement that I put together all I did was that I took apart the asparagus flower arrangement that I had and I added little valentine picks and the, these cute little flowers up here to the cascading tendrils that were inside that turquoise seaside vase that I had put together before in another video and then here I added the two little goblets that I had also made for Rob and I in our first year, our first Valentine's. And it's just basically two of those long uh, little skinny vases from Dollar Tree on top of those glass candle holders. And it's just simply just sitting on a stool with this really pretty piece of material that my aunt gave me. Over here is a small frame of 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 of, of. <laughs> felt um cut out hearts that i did with little bits of lace and i thought that that would look really cute i've had this for a few years so yeah and it has like red petals in there as well okay guys here is the tree are y'all ready here it goes yeah there it is Ta -da! <laughs> Up in the chandelier, I simply just left the three red ornaments. But look at this tree, guys. I pulled out all the pink flowers that I could find. I have so many of them stashed away. I have a small collection, so I managed to keep all of these, and I found them, thank goodness, and I was able to just stick them into the tinsel tree. And I added Valentine pigs that I bought from Walmart recently. I bought six of these for like, I think they were like 50 cents each. I have six of those, and then I have, um, I think I have, let me see, six of these really big heart ones that I bought last year as well, but I'll show you what I did with the others in a minute, and so there you go, look at that, look at that tree, I mean, is it a cheerful, happy looking tree, or what, completely beautiful, it's just really, really, really beautiful I just love the way it looks and now swinging over here towards the table up here and the curtains all I did because I kept everything simple I just kept the tendrils up there still keeping with the dune look that is why we have Kyle McLaughlin there on the wall and the cute little dune poster that my son managed to get from Barnes and Nobles for free for his mom. They gifted it to me. So in keeping with the theme, all I did here on the windows was to add a little bit of greenery and one little red heart and that little welcome heart sign that we've had for a long time. And so that looks pretty cute, simple and cute. And then here's the table. Along, of course, with the red chairs. Here is the table, guys. I'm going to just scan it real quick like, and then I'll talk about it. So what do you think? Did it turn out nice? I think it came out really, really beautiful. Now, uh, the table settings consists of the little seahorse wooden ornaments that I got at Dollar General. I used them as the 
napkin ring holder and I simply just stuck one of these large heart picks behind the little seahorse and there it is and I just simply set it on top of the beautiful um, black bowls that I got um, when was it this past summer I guess from Walmart I got these for like 75 cents and the plates for like a dollar fifty and I bought four of each and the bowls are huge I love that they're so big and beautiful and um, I was able to find them actually, you know, in that aisle where they usually try to get rid of all those little knickknacks that are left behind and nobody wants or whatever. Well, I was lucky to find these. I think that they were just a great buy. I love them. They look like the ocean. Of course, with the glare, it's kind of hard to see, but it, it almost looks like waves of water and at night or the sky, you know, like thin little clouds in the, in the dark sky. It just thinks so beautiful. And I thought they went great with the dune theme. Under that bowl are these beautiful plastic iridescent um, little you know plates that I got from Dollar Tree uh, also uh, past summer that I thought would look really beautiful here along with the Dune theme. And under that, of course, are the beautiful brand new um, rectangular plates. These are heavy. Plates. I think I got them at, I want to say, Home Goods, but I could be wrong. It could be Marshalls because I cannot remember what was what from where, <laughs> as is usually the case when I buy several things and then I forget where I got them. And these beautiful chargers, guys, with the scalloped edges and, the, and all those little crevices and lines in here. It's just gorgeous. And I use these for New Year's as well, along with these beautiful table um, mats in the light golden color. I just thought they were so pretty. They're almost silvery looking, like old antique silver. That's what they remind me of. And so that is the place setting. There's four of them. One right there, one there, and the other one is over there. For the candlestick holders, all I did was put one of these little um, light cardboard hearts that I have had for a few years already. I just sat it on top of the candle holder and stuck the candle on top. Since they're those uh, battery charged um, votives, I thought that would be a really cute idea. I still kept that little frame with the little um, glass border and the seaside looking... Uh, craft paper that I put in there down here is my little gingerbread uh, tin uh, can box that I did um, this one I did several years ago and all I did was take an old tin I spray painted it this creamy white color like a vanilla color and then I had cut out these little shapes of the gingerbread and the hearts and then all I did was mod podge them onto the uh, lid along with these little pink uh, heart-shaped doilies that I put behind all of that you can see pink on the edges where the doilies were wrapped around the edge and then I heavily march potched it and heavily put um, the red sand and big old-fashioned silver glitter that my grandmother used to have that my aunt gave me a long long time ago and I didn't want to use any of her, of her glitters I had a few little containers of them but I decided you know what I should use them and, and put them to good use and be able to show them off and what I did with them. And so there you have it. And then I added those little stones to the hearts. And on the edge, all along the border, the whole thing, are these little uh, gingerbread and gumdrop um, light foam stickers. And I added little gems to every other one, to the little bow tie. And I, of course, I mod podged the entire box, the entire container, so that nothing would peel off or chip off or anything like that. So I've had this already for like three years, I think. So now that I think about it, oh, and I forgot, um, yeah, I put this little clip back here so that I can actually hang it up too. So there it is. And you can tell it's old because it's a little rusty, but yeah, this can came out to be... Turned out to be a very cute little crafting project. And I know how everybody is in love with gingerbread. I am too. I love it. And I love to eat it too. It's delicious. <laughs> 
these little dove bells my aunt gave me and I thought they were just so adorable. There's one there and the other one is over there. The salt and pepper shakers are uh, salt and pepper shakers that I put together after Rob and I got married. I bought the stuff from Dollar Tree and I just fused them together, of course, with super glue with E6000. And there's my salt and there is the pepper. In the center, you see the two little golden um, candle holders, antique candle holders that my aunt, my aunt and my mom gave me this past year. And I was glad to get them because they're really pretty. And this beautiful blue translucent uh, cake stand was a gift uh, to me and Rob from my son uh, for, I think, our anniversary and it's just gorgeous i um, was trying to remember where it came from it comes from an it was made in another country no it wasn't china or, or or mexico or anything like that it was somewhere else but i can't remember if it was portugal or some some exotic some exotic place it was really beautiful and i just love it it's just gorgeous it's got that milky blue you know see-through look i just love that and in keeping with the dune theme that's why my son got it for me that way I could use it all the time anytime I wanted. Those little um, pictures you see are like little um, decanters or like little, um, I imagine they could be like for oil, like, like oils that you want to use on your salad or maybe a syrup if you wanted to have a breakfast setting or something like that. I got these at an old Dollar Tree store a long time ago, like back when I was expecting my son. So yeah, I've always kept those, they're really adorable. The vase was from New Year's. All it has are all these beautiful stones inside of it. And I took what the arrangement was before and all it was was mistletoe. So I just added all these flowers, guys, just to the top of all of that greenery. And there's your centerpiece. Isn't it beautiful? The hydrangeas as well as the pink roses came from Walmart while the little white ones came from Dollar Tree. They came from my aunt. She got them for me this year. And then on both sides of that arrangement, I have these two little silver tinsel trees that match, of course, the big silver tree over there. And all these little guys had, um, have are these little red ornaments that Rob had ordered for us a long time ago. And uh, for New Year's, they were just plain, just sitting here on the table. They didn't have any adornment. They were just little silver trees, but they look so adorable. And... I always like those little trees. I had the wreaths as well, but I gave the wreaths to my son to use. I have my my uh, utensils there. Here are the cookies that I showed you guys in previous videos. They look adorable, don't they? Really, really super awesome. I love the way they came out. They look really good, don't they? I just really want to just take a bite out of one of those. I mean, oh my goodness. And for the place settings, I kept these goblets, or not goblets, uh, these short glasses because they look so elegant and pretty and iridescent, and I just couldn't resist them. I thought they were just beautiful. And I like things that don't always match, you know? I mean, sometimes you want to be a little different, a little, um, you know, just try to do things a little more different with some flair, you know? And I thought that that looked really, really pretty with that. They don't match, but yet they go well together, you know? And so here's a little poetry book that I picked up from Dollar Tree one year. I had, I think, one or two more, but I don't know what I did with them. And so, so far I have this one, and I have read the poetry in this one. I love it. Here's an old butter dish, and there's the other play setting. And here's the back of that big flower arrangement. Over here is, in the corner, um... I have the hot chocolate pitcher sitting on top of another old tin that I had with the faux cookies, with the Mexican faux cinnamon cookies and the peanut butter cookies. And then in the second tier, you see the cupcakes that I made that were new as well as the ones that were spiffed up, like the one in the back with the purple. That one was spiffed up. This one was kept, this was an old cupcake already and this was a new one. I took some of the old cupcakes that I had and I and I spruced them up with some full frostings to give them more of an appealing look to them. I thought they came out really, really nice. And look at that yummy white one. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> All calorie free. 
And down here, I kept one of the cakes with a tin box, the foam meringues, and some amber glass. Over here, uh, I have uh, the salt and pepper shakers. Some, uh, the ones in the middle right here were for, that one was for my son when he was little. So I treasure that one. And they're still in their original plastic wrappings because I'm afraid of breaking its nose or the noses. The penguins up there were a gift for my son. Those Rob and I got, the little deer in the tree. My son gifted us a sloth in the tree. The little pigs were uh, Rob's uh, grandparents. The turtles and the uh, acorns were something that we bought. The little gnomes were something uh, my son gave us. The doves I bought recently for Christmas. The little elephants were for my mom. She had them and they are probably as old as from the 50s, if I am correct. And these little guys were also something that Rob and I got. There's a little rose arrangement here with some hearts next to my bedroom and it's on a pillar and here's the welcome sign that i had decked out for christmas thought i should still keep it here i think it looks pretty i like that and my plant here is an old drift driftwood piece that looks like a snake that is like a walking stick that's what my son calls it his walking stick so i'm babysitting it so i got to decorate it by putting some hearts on it and sticking it into the urn of red geraniums down here i think it looks really pretty and here's a an old love sign and let me take it this way up here on top of my fridge i actually have an arrangement also for valentine's and it's sort of nautical as well with a shell and everything and then moving on here, I got my plants and I have that jar that I made a few years ago out of a sauce jar with some garland on it that I wrapped and glued to it, some lace and ribbons. And I think I got everything from Dollar Tree except for the jar and that piece of lace. Then of course here is the shelf from the previous video that y'all saw. And if you haven't seen it yet, you need to look for it and give it a big like because I need to get my channel to grow, guys. So please help me out. Alrighty. And moving forward this way. On the door, I have those little hearts right there where my honey is. I have this set up right here 